The Avengers have left again. South Korean President Moon Jae-in's special envoy headed to North Korea this morning. The five members in the envoy included Jung Yong, head of the Presidential National Security Office, Seo Hun, chief of the National Intelligence Service, Chun Hye Sung, vice unification minister, Kim Sang Kyun, senior National Intelligence Service official, and Yoon Gon Young, presidential secretary for state affairs. The envoy left Seoul's airport at around 7 this morning by a special plane. Their one-day trip to Pyongyang was aimed at making arrangements for what would be a third Moon Kim summit. Remember, the leaders of the divided Koreas held their second bilateral summit in Panmunjom on May 26 and agreed to hold the third Moon Kim summit in Pyongyang this month. So first, South Korean delegation focused on setting a specific date with North Korean officials. The two sides also talked about ways to move forward, stall talks on ridding the North of its nuclear weapons, and also to develop inter-Korean relations by implementing Panmunjom Declaration. The D's agenda is sound familiar. Let's go back to March 5th, which is exactly five months ago, when the same five members visited Pyongyang for a meeting with Kim Jong-un. The meeting and dinner combined was held for 4 hours and 12 minutes. South Korean envoy also delivered Moon's letter to Kim in person. During the last visit, the two sides came to six agreements. The third in a Korean summit at the Peace House. Installation of hotline between the leaders of two Koreas. North Korea's willingness to denuclearize. And to hold candid talks with the U.S. on denuclearization and bilateral ties. Suspension of all military provocations, invitation of a South Korean Taekwondo demonstration team, and an art performance team to perform in Pyongyang. More than half of these agreements seem to be implemented well, but there is one more role added to the South Korean side. Removing an apparent stumbling block in denuclearization talks between the U.S. and N.K., which only became unpredictable by U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo's canceled trip to Pyongyang. Denuclearization and lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula, did we get one more step closer in solving these agendas? We'll see.